Hello, lovely people. I'm Stella from Stella's Yarn Universe. In this Amigurumi tutorial, we will crochet a little lemon, one full lemon and also a half lemon. So this little project is ideal for beginners. So if you're new to Amigurumi, it's a great one to get started. I also have other fruits um, I have an apple, a pear, and a pineapple, if you're interested. I also have a strawberry, but that's a bit out of proportion, so they don't really go together, but you can make it with a finer yarn and a smaller hook to adjust the proportions, but also you could make all the other fruits larger with heavier yarn and a larger hook but anyway they they all more or less go together except the strawberry and the strawberry also has a face so it's a little bit different <laughs> but anyway um today i'm a bit or this week i should say i'm a bit short on um recording time and editing time so i thought we'd make something small so that I can still bring you a new tutorial. And then Olivia contacted me about a week ago on Instagram and she asked for my little lemon pattern. And I realized that I never shared the pattern. I've never even written it down. I just shared a photo um, maybe two years ago on my Instagram of these um, lemons and never shared the pattern. So I thought it's time for those of you who make little play food for dolls or something like that, I thought it would be a good idea. Also, I like to turn the little fruits into, into um, earrings for other jewelry. I made earrings out of the little apples that I made. So that's just another idea on how to use these little mini amigurumi fruits. But now, without further ado, Let's get into the materials we need for this. Also, the weather is really gloomy today and I'm a bit concerned with um, the video being too dark. Maybe I'll turn on my light later on, but... Um, yeah, I hope this the bright colors of this little lemon will allow you to see what I'm doing. So for this project, we need DK or light worsted yarn in yellow and a tiny little bit in white. So I haven't really decided on the shade of yellow yet. Not sure this one may be too yellow, but this one not enough. <laughs> I wish I had something in between. We'll see which one I use. And this is Paintbox Yarns Cotton Decay. I linked to it below in case you'd like to use the same. And then we use a 2.5 millimeter hook, which is something in between a size B1 and C2. Usually I recommend going for a C2, but if you tend to crochet quite loosely, um, going for a size B1 can make up for that. And the UK terms for those are um, 13 for a B1 and 12 for a C2. Then we need a yarn needle, stitch marker and scissors, and some fiber fill. So I'm gonna use the brighter shade of yellow just because the lighter one. Um, was kind of blowing out in the film, even even when turning this off. We'll see. I think it works better with this shade. Let's see. So we start with the magic ring. Just to use your preferred magic ring method. And then in round one, we single crochet six in the magic ring. One, two, 
angry. Four, five, and six. That's looking better. <laughs> the light yellow was blowing out completely in the natural light as well as the artificial light. So now we close the magic ring. And in round two, we increase in the first stitch here. So, excuse me while I insert my hook there. So, so oh, sometimes I just like to use my index finger to get the hook in this stitch, especially the first one of the round, the first one of the second round, which I find a bit tricky sometimes. So in here we single crochet two now to increase. And then in the next stitch we single crochet one. And we repeat this two more times, one increase, And one single crochet. One increase. And one single crochet. And that's round two done. So now our round has nine stitches. And I close the magic ring fully now. And I place my stitch marker in the last stitch. Then in round three, we keep increasing slightly. So now we increase in the first stitch. So two single crochet in here. And then we single crochet in the next two. one and two and this we also repeat two more times three times all together one increase and two single crochet one and two and again one increase and two single crochet, one and two. So that's round three done, and now our round has 12 stitches. In the next round, we actually repeat this. So we start with an increase, and then we make two single crochet, one and two but this time we re repeated four times all together so three more times increase and two single crochet one and two increase single crochet one and another one and once more and increase and two single crochet so now our round of 12 has become a round of 16 and that's round four done now in round five, we start with an increase once more. And now we single crochet in the next three. So one, two, and three. 
and this we repeat four times. So three more times. One increase and three single crochet. One, two, three, and an increase. And three single crochet. One, two, three. And once more. And increase. And three single crochet. One, two, and the third one in the last stitch of the round. And this is round five done. And now we have a round of 20 stitches. And now in round six and seven, in the next two rounds, all we do is single crochet, one in each of these 20 stitches. So we just go around twice. Single crocheting one in each stitch. So you can pause the video here, I just let you get on with it and once you crochet two rounds of 20 single crochet you can hit play again. So that's round six and seven done, the two rounds of 20 single crochet and now in round eight we start decreasing already. So we start with three single crochet, one two, three, and then we decrease. And so to decrease, in case that's new to you, we make an invisible decrease. So we go in the front loop of the next stitch, pull our hook down to go through the front loop of the next stitch. Then we pick up the yarn and put it through these two front loops so that we have two loops on our hook and then we pick up the yarn again and pull it through the these two loops. And we repeat this four times all together. So three more times. We start with three single crochet. One, two, three, and then we make an increase. We single crochet again and decrease three single crochet and the decrease. So that's round eight done and we keep decreasing, just going to go ahead and hide this yarn end. In round nine we start with two single crochet, one and two and then we make a decrease. And we repeat this three more times. Now it's getting too small for my finger to fit in there, so I just squish it together. This way I find it easier to crochet such a small round. So single crochet, single crochet, and decrease. Single crochet, single crochet, and decrease, and single crochet, single crochet, 
and decrease. That's round nine done. And now I'm pulling my loop out a little bit so that I don't lose it because now it's time to fill the little lemon. So, I'll just form little folds of fiber fill so that they fit in. And then I just push them in with the back of my hook. Maybe a tiny bit more. Let's see if that's too much. No, I think that's good. So I'm going to distribute it a bit more after crushing the next round or after finishing it. We only have two rounds to go. So in round 10 we single crochet two. Actually we just continue with what we did before. We single crochet two. And then we decrease. There we go. And this time we only repeated three times all together, so two more times. One, trying not to work in the fiber fill in my stitches. And two. And decrease. And once more, one, two, and decrease. So that's round. 10 done and now in round 11 the last round we single crochet one and then we decrease one and we repeat this two more times single crochet one and decrease one and once more, single crochet one, <laughs> there we go, front loop and front loop and decrease one. So now we can fasten off. So now you can squish it a bit to evenly, evenly distribute the fiber fill. And then all that's left to do is close the round. And we do that by inserting the yarn end that we threaded on our yarn needle through the front loops of all six stitches. So that was the first one. This is the second and I don't pull it tight just yet. This is the third, the fourth, the fifth, and number six. 
So now we can pull it tight and then we go through the center of the last round that we just crocheted. Stitch through to somewhere where you want to weave in the end and then pull that. Well, in this case, actually we don't have to pull it that much because this gives it actually this lemon shape so I don't pull it too tightly. I leave this last round, um, you know, the way it pops out here actually looks good in this case. So now I'm just weaving in the yarn end with a few stitches, trying to follow the natural pattern, the single crochet pattern that we have to make it less obvious. And then I just cut this short and that's our little lemon done. So this is the full lemon and now we're going to crochet the half lemon as well. So for the half lemon we also start with a magic ring. So we begin here in the center and this is the direction that we crochet in, just so you know. So again, just use your preferred magic ring method. And then in round one, we single crochet six in the magic ring. One, two, three, four, five and six then we close it and in round two we increase in all six stitches so two single crochet in here that's three and four in the next five and six in the next, seven and eight in the next, nine and ten in the next, and eleven and twelve in the last stitch of the round. And here I place my stitch marker now and firmly close the magic ring. And now in round three, we single crochet in the next stitch. And then we increase in the next. Two single crochet in here. And we repeat this six times all together. So five more times. Single crochet. Increase. Single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, and once more, single crochet, and Increase in the last stitch, two single crochet in here. And that's round three done. And now our round has 18 stitches. Now in round four, we single crochet one in each of these 18 stitches, but only in the back loops. So we go in the back loop of the next stitch. Oops. And then we single crochet one in there and then only in the back loop of the next one. And so on. Until the round is complete.
the last one. And that's the round done. Oh, actually now I secure my stitch because next we're going to do a little embroidery to separate the different segments like I did here. And you can either use white yarn or if you want them to look a bit more delicate than what I've done here, you could use embroidery floss. You can also split your yarn. I think that's what I'll be trying this time. Just want to see how it looks compared to this. And this way you're kind of making your own embroidery floss. This should be enough. So now I have half the thickness of the DK or light worsted yarn. So let's see how that looks. With the DK yarn embroidery, it looks like this. So that's what you can go for if you want it to look the same. And so I threaded, I threaded the embroidery floss or split yarn, I should say, on my yarn needle. And now I go through from, from the inside of my work. I stitch through the center of the magic ring. And pull the thread out of there. And now let's see how many sections I made here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I divided it into eight by making nine stitches. So I'll just go, I'll just stitch through to here. And in the beginning of the round, and that's the first one done. Then I stitch back through the center of the magic ring. And then in the opposite direction, And I just stitch through the stitch here. So I'm just using my big yarn needle and go through the full single crochet stitch here. So then I turn it into quarters. So now I go again through the center of the magic ring from the inside and then find the middle between these two. Should be about here and it doesn't have to be so precise. I mean if you cut a lemon you'll notice that um, the segments aren't all the same size. Now the opposite side. So again through the center here. And through the stitch in round three. Now I divide these quarters into eighth. Go through the center and then somewhere here. And through here, opposite side, and again through the center, and 
in between these two and on the opposite side. And that's it. So now we have the different segments. And now I just go around like I did here. Just stitching through every stitch. So now I'm stitching through this stitch and round um, three from the inside out and then from the outside in I go through the next stitch and now I'll have to do back stitches so now I skip a stitch so I don't go through the next one that I just inserted my hook in, I go through the next from the inside out oops trying not to work in my working yarn and that would be annoying <laughs> and now I stitch back through the previous stitch so that I get a, an uninterrupted line. Now I again skip this stitch and go through the next. This is the one. And then I go back through where the previous stitch ends. And then we skip this one, go through the next and go through where the previous stitch ends. And this way we go all around. I hope the video isn't too blown out and so that you can see that. Here I'm stitching through Here we'll have a little um, jot because that's where the previous round ended and I'm, I'm not too bothered about that. Just continue following the round. So halfway there Just a few more stitches to go. That's it. So now 
stitched all around and now we can make a knot or something to secure this you can also tie it together with the other end of the embroidery floss I'm just not doing it because it's quite on the other side of where this one is And I'm leaving the end a bit longer because it's going to be hidden inside the half lemon anyway. So now we can continue crocheting. And there are only a few rounds left to go. So this is a nice little project to do with yarn remnants. And it makes for some cute play food. So now we single crochet in the next four stitches one, two, three, and four, and then we decrease. And we repeat this two more times. One, two, three, four, single crochet and decrease. And once more, one, two, three, four. And decrease and here we can place our stitch marker forgot that in the beginning <laughs> and now in round six we single crochet in the next three one two three and then we decrease And this we also repeat three times all together. So two more times. One, two, and three. And decrease. And once more. One, two, three, and decrease. So now I'm pulling my loop out a little bit to secure it so I don't lose my stitch because now I'll add a little bit of fiber fill There won't go much in this little space, but I'll add a little bit. And after the next round, we can still add a tiny bit. There will still be a small opening. Mm, I'll leave it at that for now. And I'll add a little more after the next round. So in the next round, round seven, we single crochet two. Oops, and now we need to be careful not to crochet in the fiber fail. So I'm trying to hold it, hold the fiber fill in with my 
middle finger water crochet. Let's see how that goes. So two single crochet, one and two, and then we decrease and this we repeat three times once again. So two more times, three times all together. Single crochet and single crochet and decrease and once more single crochet single crochet and decrease so that's round seven done I'll pull my loop out a little bit again to add the last bit of fiber fill. Let's see if I can even still get the back of my hook in there. If not, then I like to use my closed scissors carefully. Make sure to keep them closed and not to damage the fibers. The fibers of the stitches, I mean. And I think that's enough. So now we can go ahead and crochet the last round in which we will single crochet one and then we decrease one. So crochet two together and we repeat this two more times. One single crochet and one decrease and once more one single crochet and one decrease so now our round is done and we have six stitches so we can fasten off here. Let's pull that out and thread the yarn end on our yarn needle. And as we did with the full lemon, we now go through the front loops of all six stitches of the round. It's two. Three, four, five, and six, and put it tight and go through the center of the last round. Stitch through to somewhere, anywhere where you want to weave in the yarn end. So we just make a few stitches to. Secure the yarn in. And then we just cut it short. And that's our half lemon done. So just to compare, this is the previous one. So you can squish it a bit and make sure that this cut um, surface is as flat as possible. And that's it. <laughs> that's your little lemon amigurumi done. I hope you enjoyed this little project. If you did, please feel free to give this video a big thumbs up for me. And let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it, if you made it and make sure whenever you use one of my patterns, whether it's a paid one or a free 
Patreon here on YouTube or on my blog. If you share it on Facebook or Instagram, make sure to tag me so that I can see it and give you a big thumbs up for it. And also, yeah, just make sure to tag me in the actual photo um, as well as in the description because this way I can check on it later if I don't um, if I don't log on Instagram for a few days, which happens sometimes, then um, I don't want to miss it. But if you tag me in the actual photo, then I will see it later. And this way you will uh, automatically get an entry for my monthly giveaway of one of my paid patterns. And I announce the winners every first of the month on Instagram and Facebook in my story. So watch out for that. And this way you also automatically enter my monthly giveaway of one of my paid patterns. So I announce the winners every first of the month or early in the month if I don't make it on the first. So watch out for that. And yeah, thank you so, so much for crushing along with me again. Next week, um, make sure to mark your calendars for Saturday the 8th of May at 6 p.m. BST. So that's um, 10 a.m. Pacific time and 1 p.m. Eastern time. And in Europe, it's going to be 7 p.m. If you're elsewhere in the world, don't worry. Um, there's going to be a replay. But um, we're going to have a live crochet along here on YouTube again. But the best way to access it is actually on reblar.com. That's R-I-B-B-L-R.com. And that's a super cool platform for crocheters and knitters. And um, even if you are sewing, there are great sewing patterns on there. And the cool thing about it is that this way you can see the written pattern. And what's anyway, what's so useful on Rivler is that when you see the written pattern, you can uh, click on it once you're done with a round and then it gets crossed out. So you always know where you are in the pattern. But at the same time, you see a little screen of me um, how I crochet the little project live and yeah then we can also interact through the chat so this way it's um, it's ex extra fun because we get to crochet together and interact with each other at the same time it's just um, I don't know some cozy crochet time together so I hope you're gonna make it we're gonna make this little birdie here I'm just gonna I don't have it here so I just insert a picture here <laughs> this uh, little wren called Winifred that's what we're gonna make so I hope you'll be able to join if not don't worry there will be a replay and I'll also um I'll share the proper tutorial the next day for those of you who who don't join the crochet along anyway so either way you'll be able to make this little birdie Anyway, thank you so, so much for listening, for watching this video, for crocheting along with me. See you again very soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.